okay, boy. Come on now, boy. Hello. Partner? Okay, bud. Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <Enchanté. laughs> uh, uh, Hello. <laughs> hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Aww. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a student. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Carefully. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Oh, it's in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished on near five on the Mr. Hunt. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that.
Look out! Look out! Be mindful of the danger. To the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, 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 the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. Next, he will show you the moving docks. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pong. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really ought to work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans, all you think about is sales. I say look out for mines. The rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is It is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European course. What's your problem?
Monsieur I need medicine. My hands flat. Is it all cold? Tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, the one with the pink flowers, tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, Mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can. You can say that again. <laughs> You're a good boy. Yep. Hey, partner. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. There are simply too many things we can control. That's, uh... That's too bad. Hey, boy.
partner. Down. Yeah. Uh. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born you taking yesterday. taking liberties, boy? Ah! 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 Okay, fella.
You crazy? Hello there and welcome. Nothing like a fresh start. I hope not to see you again for this service. <laughs> Take care now. Any federals coming through? Might have got some horse sense. Whiskey grew on trees.
How do you do? Hello, mister. I've been waiting on that window screen for some time. That's just the way of things, I guess. How do you do, sir? Hello. Hey there. Hello there. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. Price of tobacco just seems Real to beautiful drunk. country around this area. That a fact. Back so soon? Alden, I need a word. Hello, you. What can I help you with? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one said that! I didn't shoot him it. in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Midnight, I want to talk. Don't 
Been too many federals coming through. I got some horses. Comes when I need.
okay there, boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Next fool crosses me wrong, I'm gonna fill him with lead. Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? Don't have to tell me twice. We said get lost, nay! We told you once, damn it! God! Chose a full safe. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, boy.
A bad hole.
Happy to, you know. Oh, you kind, mister. If he uh, be so kind to take me to Legras, yep. that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Hey, you, you going backwards. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust him much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Legras, no. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, it's gonna come by with a rifle on him. And there's no word of lie. Jesus. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. And where was it? Legras? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you. Bet it was a long time. No thanks. But I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't die or not. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. <laughs> 